Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Uh, today's releases are uh, the best picture of the year, Green Book, uh, hits all formats today, along with, um, I believe, what was that one called again? Like, like one of those like Fantastic Beast movies, you know, the Wizarding World of like Harry Potter. Like one of those sequels came out today, not really interested in that. But also, The Craft. Uh, from Scream Factory gets released today uh, on Blu-ray. This one was actually a really fun release. I talked about it uh, like a hoarding up video ago, but that's one of the main ones that uh, come out today. But I'm gonna be heading on over to the, the usual spots, seeing what kind of fun stuff, uh, what you know, what other fun stuff came out today. There also is also gonna be some DVD and Blu-ray reviews at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But guys, let's get out of here. Let's see what kind of fun stuff there is out there. You ready? Are you? I don't think you are. All right, everyone, at my first destination of the day, the local Target. Let's head on in there and uh, see what kind of cool stuff they have, if they have any exclusives. Or well, guys, in Target right now, when it looks like they do have the new Fantastic Beasts, uh, you know, the, the Crimes of Grindelwald. They have like their own little like exclusive edition of it, like a little lenticular cover, uh, you know, for its release. They have like, of course, the Blu-ray and the, the 4K one and everything that's kind of cool like a little digibook uh version of the film and of course the standalone uh blu-ray uh I, i've liked the harry potter films you know growing up and stuff or you know when i was in like high school i believe when they started coming out but like these ones i haven't got into yet i have the first one but i don't know i'm not really interested in like continuing on the story but other than that it doesn't look like any of the other new releases are out here in target today but maybe it's because I'm out here a little bit earlier than normal and they just haven't put them out yet, but I just don't see anything out. There we go. They do have the Green Book, the best picture of the year uh, that came out. I don't know if it should have won best picture. It was a good film, great, great film. But there was other stuff that came out that was, to me, a tiny bit better. But yeah, as you can tell, Target didn't really get a whole bunch of stuff in today. They just got that Green Book and that Fantastic Beast movie. At my next destination of the day, the local Walmart. Let's head on in and see if they have anything cool going on. Well guys, in Walmart right now, taking a look at some of the new releases that they have. They have the Fantastic Beasts uh, one and their exclusive one. Looks like has like a little like you know Funko Pop, little miniature uh, inside there. Not really into collecting those versions of things, you know, when I see them. You know, I mean those little miniature Funko Pops, it's like whatever. But they do have the Mortal Engines movie uh, that came out today. It's from the filmmakers of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, it says. I've yet to see this one, but I heard really, really mixed things uh, you know, about this film. Of course, it has it all, and we have it all here in all different formats. Of course, they have Green Book right here. Looks like the Blu-ray sold out already at Walmart. And this one came out last week, but I was hoping there was a Blu-ray release of, of Aurora Rumble, but I guess I was wrong. And I'm not exactly sure what this is, but... Yeah, I'll leave that be. Well, still walking around Walmart right now, and I came across something really cool uh, in, in the movie section. Um, is I know it's something, if I do get it, I'm probably not gonna open it, or if I do open it, I'm only gonna watch like an episode or two, and it's gonna sit on myself, my shelf collecting dust for a long time. But it's just so cool though, I just wanted to show the case. It's, it's 40 bucks over here. The Animaniacs, the complete series on DVD. I didn't know this, this was coming out. The whole series? of Animaniacs. I used to watch this one all the time as a kid. Like I used to like rush home from like school to watch this, Ghost Rider and different things. At the last stop of the day, Best Buy, baby. Let's get up in there and uh, see if there's anything cool. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what Best Buy has in store for us today. They look like they have the Fantastic Beast, uh, you know, film going on over here. But it looks like they're exclusive. Uh, it's all sold out. I even looked up, looked up towards the front that I saw so far, the little display they had is all sold out also, which I believe may have, be a, may have, may have been a steel book, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But it's not really a huge uh, release week by any means, but I believe uh, The Last Ship, the complete fifth season, uh, was one of the ones that came out today. Uh, I've only ever seen a handful of episodes of uh, season one and never really got into the show, but that's all I'm really seeing over here on the new release rack, guys. It also looks like a movie called Piercing came out today on Blu-ray. Has anyone heard of this before? I don't even know if I saw this on like Blu-ray.com or any of those websites I'll look at to see upcoming, you know, releases and things. What is this? Have anyone heard of this before? Oh, and for you guys who don't know, 
and that want to know, you guys can get Alex Mack to complete, you know, the Secret World of Alex Mack to complete series uh, at your local uh, Best Buys for $17.99. Uh, so, so cool, man. This is put out by uh, Mill Creek Home Entertainment. This came out a while ago, but uh, I know because I, I met, you know, a Larissa Olnick a couple of weeks ago, and uh, she signed my, my DVD of this, but like people were asking me in the comments, like, where could you get it? Best Buy has, Best Buy has have them now, man. Make sure you guys check it out. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is this the complete series of DuckTales? The classic series, uh, 70 episodes plus movie, 10-disc set. Wait a minute. It, oh, okay, okay. It has the movie and it has like volumes one, two, and three of DuckTales that were released on DVD, but all in a pack together. I haven't seen it. Is that the complete series? Did DuckTales last longer than like three seasons? Let me know down below in the comments because now, you know, first seeing Animaniacs a complete series and now this in the same day? What? Because I grew up with both of these things. Well, getting out of Best Buy now. Sad to say, didn't pick up anything uh, for this video today. Because uh, I do get review copies sent to me sometimes. So sometimes I already have things that, you know, have already been released and things. But hey, Green Book was actually a decent film. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely check that one out. That's a, that's a must-watch uh, movie in my opinion. I just don't know if it really deserved to be best picture, but at the same time, it was a great movie. So hey, whatever. But guys, let's head on home now for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. All right, everyone, I'm back home now, uh, you know, for my little out and about adventure going, you know, for DVD Tuesday. But uh, before I get on to like the review portion here, I do have a handful of things to talk to you guys about today. Has any of you guys noticed a lot of butterflies flying around, you know, today? I was just like, what is going on here? You know, I mean, I was out and about, you know, doing my, you know, filming the video today, and I just kept seeing butterflies going, shoof, shoof. I'm like, whoa, what is going on here? But then I looked it up. I guess there's a SoCal butterfly migration uh, that's going on. But I felt like I was like in some sort of like fantasy movie or something today. Like when I'm when I'm outside, I'm like, what is going on? This is cool, but kind of weird. Where where are they going? What is going on? But uh, if, if you, you guys see all the butterflies that are like flying around here or, you know, flying around uh, Southern, Southern California, let me know down below uh, in the comments. But uh, let's get on to the review portion here. Uh, the first one up I got from the MVD Home Entertainment. This is part of their Rewind collection. And it's a movie called Showdown. I remember sort of, I think I remember seeing this, you know, box art, you know, back on the video store shelves back in the day. And I may have seen this movie once before, but... When I when I popped it in and watched it the other day, I didn't really remember remember it at all. But it was actually a whole lot of fun, especially if you love, you know, nineties like um, lo, you know, nineties B like martial art kind of movies that kind of have um, a lot of similarities to the Karate Kid franchise. Uh, in this, uh, this one right here is about this this young kid who. Um, you know, moves from a small town into a, a bigger, a bigger city, uh, and start, you know, starts to go to his last year of high school or whatever it is. And uh, you know, he's getting, he's getting picked on by a bully or two. You know, at, at this school, he he he, fall, he kind of you know falls in love or has his crush, you know, on the, the cutest girl in school, who's played by um, I keep forgetting that that lady's name, but she played you know Marsha Brady in uh, the Brady Bunch movies. Uh, what was her name again? Christine Taylor. Uh, she's like the, the, the princess of the school. But yet, she, you know, her boyfriend is like, you know, the main, ba the main bad guy of the film who's, who's being trained by this evil, you know, martial art master. Kind of like the Karate Kid had, you know, Sensei Kreese and things. And this guy doesn't want his girlfriend talking to any guys by any means, don't even look at him, you know, you know, kind of thing, but yet he, he, you know, he really likes her, but then they, you know, him and the, her boyfriend, you know, they, they keep clashing heads, and they keep, you know, they, they kind of fight with one another, but, they, but then the young, the young kid sort of needs someone to help him train, and uh, the, the janitor of the school sees him getting, you know, getting picked on one day, and, and sort of helps him out in the gym, uh, one night, or not the gym, but you know, whatever, the basketball court one night, and uh, it's Billy Blanks, you know, the martial art, martial artist Billy Blanks, and you know, they, he starts training him, and it, it, it just turns into like a Karate Kid kind of situation with montages of training and stuff, it was actually cheesy, but like in a really fun way, because I love me some martial art movies, and this one was, was just great, man, and, and, the, and the bad guy of the film, the bad martial art teacher uh was also in like one of the three ninja movies i believe three ninjas knuckle up 
if you guys ever seen the Three Ninja films. But this one has a feature-length documentary, which is actually longer than the movie itself, on here, which I thought was cool. You also get an interview in here. It's like 20 minutes long with Billy Blanks. Uh, talking about his career in film and how he got into into you know how he got into film uh, to begin with when it, when it comes to like uh, Sylvester Stallone casting him in a, in a small role in a movie called Tango and Cash, but uh, but then he went on to of course doing you know starring in Blood Fist along with uh, you know Don the Dragon Wilson in the 90s, which was super dope. I love Blood Fist, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about this one. If you guys love uh, you know 90s martial art movies, give this one a chance. A lot of fun, corny. Karate Kid references all over the place. I love it. And uh, next up over here is from Sony Home Entertainment. And I believe this film won for Best Animated Film of this year at the Academy Awards. And that is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, I believe this one is being released next Tuesday. But uh, Sony sent this on over for me to, you know, showcase to you guys today. Uh, this one right here is, of course, an, an animated version of Spider-Man. The last one that came out was Spider-Man Homecoming. I really did like the Sam Raimi Spider-Man Spider movies. Not the third one that much. But this one right here takes a new, interesting look uh, into the whole Spider-Man universe. And uh, Spider-Man's out there doing what he does best in this film. But yet, you know, something happens to Spider-Man. And there's this machine that kind of explodes... And, um, there's a whole bunch of other different people that are kind of spider people and things. And it kind of follows this young, this young boy, uh, who's, you know, you know, kind of quiet, a little a quiet kid in school. But yet he all of a sudden has these powers like Spider-Man has. He can shoot webs out of his hands and all sorts of things. And, you know, the guy who's playing actual Peter Parker, uh, something's really going on with him and... You have to kind of watch this movie to find out, you know, find out what happens. Um, I thought it was really kind of interesting, but the whole, a the new animated style of this, um, it was, it was cool to look at, but kind of weird at the same time, because I had all these, like, little lines, you know, like, through it. I know it was the animated, the animation style. Maybe I, I just, it took me a while to get, to get used to and to get into the film because of it. I know some people really like the animation style. That's fine. That's cool. But like, I, it's something I had to get used to when I was watching this film. It does, it does look, it does look nice here on Blu-ray. And on this Blu-ray, you get, of course, you know, your behind the scenes special featurettes and a couple of uh, Spider-Man mini movies, you know, short mini movies on here, along with a, you know, filmmaker commentary. But if you guys, uh, did you guys see Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments if you guys, you know, dug this one at all. I didn't think it was bad. I just, it, it took me like two or three sittings to actually get through it, you know, kind of thing. It wasn't long, but it's just one of those movies I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch the rest later. I'll watch the rest later kind of thing. I don't know why. Like this one, this one right here, I sat through. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. But then this one, I know it's a better made, a better made movie, but like I enjoyed this a little bit more. I don't know. I have like the weirdest like taste in movies, I swear to God. But into Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse... It is, it is worth a watch. And uh, next up over here, I got from Lionsgate Home Entertainment. And it's a Nicolas Cage movie that is finally now out on 4K. And that is Lord of War uh, here. And uh, this one right here is, of course, <laughs> Nicolas Cage is playing a... Uh, what's it called? A... Uh, uh, an arms dealer who's like, you know, selling guns and weapons to, you know, during, you know, d during different wars that, that were happening in like the 80s and 90s and uh, just all the weird stuff that he's gotten into and how he's, how he gets away with, you know, you know, selling, you know, guns, you know, to other, you know, to like, you know, different, you know, different uh, bad guys around the world. It also stars, of course, Ethan Hawke playing like a p police officer trying to, you know, t t track him and take him down. You also get Jared Leto in here playing uh, Nicolas Cage's brother that's getting, all, you know, getting high all the time. Uh, it's actually a, a really well-made movie. Uh, I haven't seen this one since it originally came out on DVD uh, back when I was working at Blockbuster. But it does have all the original special features that were on uh, the previous edition, like deleted scenes, making of, commentary, and stuff like that. It does look really good here uh, on 4K. So if you guys are a fan of this film, just want to let you guys all know that it's out now on 4K. And uh, next up over here, the last two up, I got from this uh, website called MovieZing.com. Uh, this is a, a website you go to, and uh, when you buy it, they you know they make it for you, and then they ship it. You know, burn on demand uh, website. And this one right here is uh, is put out also put out by so this one's put out by Sony Entertainment, but you get it from MovieZing.com. And it's a show I kind of wanted to see because, you know, I've always been a fan of Tisha Campbell ever since, you know, Martin and stuff. And, of course, House Party, the House Party movies. But it, it also stars Ken Jeong. And it's a show called Dr. Ken. Uh, for you guys who don't know, you know, Ken Jeong was the, the actor that was in the, you know, the Hangover movies and things. But 
originally in his life he was a doctor. Uh, he was, in, you know, and then and it was called. A, what did it say on back here? He was a MD, uh, you know, back in the day. And then he turned, you know, he turned into acting and stand up comedy and things somehow and then got into got into feature films and this is sort of like a a show about his life and how he how he was a doctor but like portrayed in a wacky you know sitcom -y kind of way it also stars you know like i said tisha campbell in here during you know the, the different scenes that, that take place in the hospital uh i find the show to be kind of fun you know kind of enjoyable it, it took it took me a couple of episodes to get into it because like when you pop it in you watch like the first two episodes it feels kind of overwhelming with the kind of you know the kind of comedy they're pushing on you with the laugh tracks and stuff is just like wait a laugh track is going off and it, the show just started like five seconds ago whoa what you know what the hell maybe it's just me having like watched a show that had like laugh like a big laugh track in a long time uh besides like some older tv shows that i've watched like you know the one the next one that you're, i'm gonna show you but uh this one right here was, was it's, it's it's okay I'm, I'm still i'm still getting through it i'm in the middle of a uh, disc disc one right now but if you guys love Ken Jeong uh, and uh, Tisha Campbell, you guys might like this show. Uh, let me know if you guys have seen this one. Did you guys any of, any of you guys seen this one on TV? It has all of you know all of season one here on two discs. And uh, the last one I have to show you guys from MoviesIn.com is the fifth and final season of a show that I think could have kept on going. It could have kept on going for at least a handful a handful of more seasons. I don't know why. Um, uh, the WB canceled canceled the show after this season because it, it was a, it's a really funny show, you know, and it's one of my favorites that I always remember growing up, you know, watching, and that is uh, the complete and final season of the Wayne's Brothers uh, here on DVD. Uh, this this was this is sad to say this is the last one, but I'm happy that I can finally complete my you know my series here on DVD. Get all three discs that you know have all the I believe 23 episodes of uh, season five here. And this, and this season right here, we get, you know, different um, uh, guest appearances like uh, uh, Paula Abdul, Missy Elliott, Kim Wayans, and a whole bunch of other different, uh, you know, guest stars, you know, in the final season of the Wayans Brothers. But let me know down below, did you guys like the Wayans Brothers show? Because I absolutely loved it. I, my, my fa one of my favorite characters, besides, you know, Marlon... I, is, uh, you know, uh, John Witherspoon from the Friday movies. I've always loved him, man. Like, I always think he's the funniest guy. Like, the way, I don't know, I, the way he portrays Pops, you know, in, in this show and the craziness that happens with him uh, throughout. I mean, the whole all, the whole Wayne's Brothers crew is amazing. But, like, it's just, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just happy that I finally have the last season on DVD right now to complete my set. But, guys, make sure you guys check out MoviesInc.com. Link down below if you guys want to, you know, pick up Dr. Ken or the Wayne's Brothers, the final season, uh, down below. But, guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my videos. Uh, we still have the GoFundMe page uh, up and running if you guys want to help support us to help us make Out and About the Movie number two uh when we go back to vegas and you know uh may make a cool another feature length you know out and about video for you guys for you guys that are you know really would like to have one we're at about just half just past half the halfway mark uh to our goal so if anyone's interested in uh, donating to our cause any donations um are welcome but if you donate twenty dollars or more you'll get your name in the credits of the film so check out the gofundme page uh link down below and i'll see you guys all for the next one